hi guys you're welcome back again to my youtube channel my name is ria and i'm a lifestyle and immigration content creator living in dublin ireland if you're seeing my face for the very first time you're highly welcome and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back again okay so in today's video uh, i've gotten a good number of questions about the documents that you need to actually get the healthcare assistant for the things that you know that are needed to actually get the healthcare assistant for here in ireland and i have about six things that i have written down that i think that you know is needed especially for people that are not in ireland and are coming from africa india wherever like you're outside ireland okay this video is definitely for you if this is something that you're interested in and you'd want to know or you have questions whatsoever then please to keep on watching <laughs> There are certain requirements you know that is needed for you to actually perform excellently in that role healthcare assistant okay the very first one that is needed is experience okay firstly no amount of experience is too small like nothing is too small even if you just took care of your grandmother or like your grandfather for like three months six months for a year two years that's a good amount of experience you don't necessarily have to work in a facility like in a company like in an organization before your experience is valid this employer needs to know that you have some sort of understanding of the job in the practical field like in the field okay so know that okay this babe or this guy is not just come here tell me everything about healthcare and what it entails but i can see in his or her cv that she has done this job before and she actually knows what it's about so it just makes the interview even more seamless and no one is even stressing nobody do you understand okay so that's the very first thing so when people ask me what are the documents that you know it's needed for you to get a healthcare assistant for me it's it's, it's it's more or less like what are the things that i need to do to get me there and the first thing is that you need to put that experience on your cv don't just say i know there are people that have gotten these jobs without an expert like they don't have experience whatsoever they're probably even coming from like a different field let's say engineering straight into being a healthcare assistant yes a lot of these things have happened but recently i think that the the job healthcare assistant is becoming a bit tightened right and the employers need to see that you have experience in the job okay i've gotten friends that have been denied i mean friends that are even living here in dublin and have been denied because they don't think that they have experience for the job right so now moving on to the second point is that you need to be able to do some courses there is this um back and forth of people saying that oh you need to have the qqi level 5 healthcare course done before you get a job in ireland while i would agree with that i would also disagree with that particular statement and that's because if you check the website like it's not even hidden like when it's time to apply for a permit under the healthcare assistant the government has put it there that it's not mandatory for you to have the qqi level 5 course as at the time that you're applying for your first permit okay it's now mandatory it's only mandatory when you are now what's the word now we are applying for like you know another permit still under the health care that like you, you want to renew your permit yes that's when it's now mandatory they need to see that okay you've been in the field for a while do you also have the, the knowledge and the cost is up to par for this particular role so that's just to clarify people saying oh i need to get my Q you don't necessarily need a QI level five you don't necessarily need a qqi level 5 i i don't think i'm going to repeat this again on this channel you don't need a qqi level 5 please to be able to get a healthcare assistant job as are your first time if you have courses from from florence academy you have courses from coursera you have courses from udemy as long as these courses are in line with the needs of the job okay you're good to go what am i talking about if you have courses that are relating or there are modules that include care skills care of the elderly person infection prevention control you know work experience like you're actually good to go all right so just to clarify you don't necessarily need a qqi level 5 at your first trial to actually get a healthcare assistant role here third. in ireland moving on to the third document that you actually need for this role to get a healthcare assistant job is that you need a well thought out cv you don't just need a cv that you just put two and two together and submit you need a well thought out cv and this can only happen if you have good amount of experience trust me and even if you don't have experience if you can sell yourself if you can sell yourself as somebody that when they see you just seeing caregiving when they see like your personality 
people can vouch for you like your reference and everything is in line with caregiving then trust me you're yes. good to go sometimes some people send me their cvs and they want me to review for the healthcare assistant jobs okay and i see some cvs i'm just like this is a rush work i think that if you take a little bit more time to actually put two and two together you come up with something better i mean these jobs are not hidden they are advertising them everywhere and anywhere these days you can actually check out the duties and responsibilities that these people are asking for pick keywords and add them to your cv just make your cv look like this person knows what the person is doing okay yeah a well thought out cv is needed and let the jobs on that cv resonate with the job that you're actually looking for if you hear people sometimes they say that they have like different they have like different cvs for different job applications different fields okay so you don't want to be applied for a healthcare assistant job and then maybe we are saying like engineering there it's okay to put that maybe you study engineering for your bachelor's or your master's but then you know you also have to put something that you're doing like that had relevance as to why you're applying for a healthcare assistant role if you understand what i'm trying to say so you can't be applying for a healthcare assistant role and then your last experience was like in their company you haven't um what's the word you haven't done any voluntary work you know in any company whatever charity or whatever that has to do with health crisis that you would not be convinced even if you were an employer as to why you should actually take this person up even for an interview so a well thought out cv is very needed for you know a health care assistant job here in ireland okay, okay so moving on to my fourth point what you actually need is an international passport so if you are a non-eu not ea citizen okay that means you're from africa you're not born in ireland or anywhere around its region so definitely you actually do need an international passport because that's like your proof of identification so when you are applying for a job and you probably get the job um they need to know they need to know that they are dealing with a human being you need to verify yourself okay especially if they're going to be applying for a permit for you they need your passport so yeah international passport is also another thing that's needed so if you haven't done that and you're looking forward to you know applying for roles like that i would say get your international passport and just keep that by the corner all right moving on to my fifth um documents needed for a healthcare assistant job in ireland would be an english language certificate now need i say that while this is amongst the things i'm mentioning today that doesn't mean that they need to see your ilts before they give you a job offer i think there's been a little bit of misconception there some people saying oh is ielts necessary we need ielts yes you need ielts yes but i know that um most companies maybe there are a few that i don't know but most companies here in ireland would give you a job without your ielts now when you need the ielts is when you are applying for your visa And now the last document or the last thing that's needed to prepare yourself to get a healthcare assistant job here in Ireland would be police certificate. Need I mention that while this is on the list, I would say that it's mostly used in the UK. A few people, yes, have said they needed police certificates. The companies asked for a police certificate. Um, but not everybody it's rightfully so to be fair because they need to know that wherever you're coming from You're not you know, convicted of anything and even if you were they need to know how to handle it because you're now going to be their employee They're vouching for you. They're sponsoring you, you know to come to their country So you need to be sure that you know this person we are taking this risk for is worth it in that phrase okay so yeah the police certificate is needed not every company but some companies will ask for it yeah you can submit that as well so pretty much that's it i think those are like the six major things that i have for you today that i would say you need these things you need to put together all of these things to be able to actually now say to yourself oh yeah i'm actually ready to apply for a healthcare assistant job and move to ireland so yeah pretty much it that's it guys thank you so much guys for watching if you did find this video helpful please don't forget to give it a very very huge thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't down there please also don't forget to share my videos to your family and friends that are interested in migrating to ireland i'm your girl me i'm your ireland plug for sure plug i'm telling you i'm your ireland plug i'm pretty much that's it guys thank you so much guys for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video stay blessed Mwah. cha cha bye guys <laughs>